This is crazy. Hack the Box just flipped the script on CTFs. Forget about breaking in, this time it's all about defending. In their first ever all blue team event, Home CTF, they drop you into a city that's on the edge of chaos, where you and your team have five days to solve anomalies, defend against threats, and uncover the truth, all while you guys compete for a prize pool worth over $10,000. And let me tell you, after competing in the Hack the Box in-person CTF a few weeks ago at DEF CON, I realized just how much of a game changer an event like Holmes could be. So to give you guys a hand, I put together a list of the key things you should know, the defensive skills and strategies that can help you not only crush Holmes, but walk away sharper, more confident, and ready for the next big challenge. If I had a list like this at DEF CON, I would have gone in with way more confidence. So let's talk about what Holmes actually is. This isn't just another hack the box event. It is their first ever all blue team CTF, which means instead of trying to break into all these systems, your job is actually to defend them. And that alone makes it unique. For five days from September 22nd through September 26th, you and up to four teammates will face a series of defense challenges designed around real world cybersecurity incidents. The entire competition takes place inside this fictional city called Cogworks One, where Holmes has uncovered strange anomalies tied to his AI Watson. Watson has already caused a massive incident in the past, known as the Nolink, and it is acting up again, leaving you to investigate, defend, and solve mysteries before it spirals out of control. Here's what makes this CTF stand out. It's not about showing off the flashiest exploits or the fastest hacks. Holmes focuses on defense's side of cybersecurity, the skills companies actually rely on every single day. Across the five challenges, you'll dive into four critical areas, threat intelligence, SOC analyst, DIFR, and malware reversing. These aren't just gimmicks, they're the same domains hiring managers ask about in an interview and the same workflows blue teams use in the actual field. And let's not forget the $10,000 price pull up for grabs, which is awesome. Whether you're brand new and trying to grab that first cybersecurity job or already in the field and want to level up, Holmes gives you the kind of training that most people only get inside an actual real world SOC. What's even cooler about this is the global community aspect. Thousands of players from all over the world will be logging in, competing, and collaborating. That means you're not just learning, you're connecting with the same people who could one day be your teammates, your mentors, or even future co-workers. And after my experience at DEF CON, which if you haven't seen that video yet, you could check it out right here, I couldn't stop but thinking how much this would have helped me. Walking into DEF CON with homes under my belt would have meant showing up with the confidence of already having tested myself against these exact type of challenges. So I went back and thought, what are some of the things I wish I knew before doing that CTF? And that's exactly what I put together for you. A list of strategies and mindset tips that can help you not just survive homes, but come out on the top. So here's the list I wish I had at DEF CON and the same list that's gonna help you guys crush the home CTF. So first and foremost, don't underestimate threat intelligence. At DEF CON, I saw people instantly pulling up social feeds, OSINT tools, and digging into anything that could give them a competitive edge. In homes, threat intelligence is one of the core challenges. That means being able to spot clues, connect the dots, and follow the trail of suspicious activity. If you've never flexed those muscles before, this is your chance. My second piece of advice is try and think like a SOC analyst. During DEF CON, the people who did the best weren't necessarily the ones who knew every exploit. They're the ones who could sift through all that noise fast and focused on what matters. Home put you in that same spot. You have log files, alerts, data coming at you. Your job is to triage and spot the real threats buried in all of it. Third, DIFR is your secret weapon. I'll be real with you, digital forensics and incident response can sound intimidating if you've never done it before. But in a competition like Holmes, it's often about breaking down a messy situation step by step. Think 
where is the compromise? How do I contain it? And what's the timeline? Get comfortable piecing puzzle pieces together and you'll have a huge edge here. My fourth tip is don't sleep on malware reversing. At DEF CON, I didn't touch much malware, but I watched the people who did and they really stood out. Holmes gives you that chance too. You don't need to be a reverse engineer wizard. Even just recognizing patterns, suspicious code behavior, or indicators of compromise can push your team ahead. And finally, mindset matters more than anything. At DEF CON, I wasted over a half an hour just doubting myself. Meanwhile, others jumped right in and made progress. Holmes is gamified, it's collaborative, and it's really meant to be fun. Don't psych yourself out. Treat it just like practice. Keep moving forward and trust that every challenge you solve makes you better prepared for the real thing. And honestly, if I had the chance to practice these skills in Holmes before stepping into that DEF CON CTF, the whole experience would have felt completely different. Instead of scrambling to try to figure things out on the fly, I could have walked in with the confidence knowing that I had already tested myself against the same kind of challenges. But here's the thing. This isn't just about winning a competition. Holmes is about building the kind of defensive mindset and technical skills that carry you straight into a cybersecurity career. Threat intelligence, SOC investigations, DIFR, malware reversing. These are the exact areas companies are desperate for talent in right now. When you go through Holmes, you're not just solving puzzles. You're learning how to sift through noisy data like an analyst. You're practicing how to respond to incidents like a responder. And you're picking up the habits of real blue team professionals. And that's what makes you way more prepared for a job interview hands-on technical tests, and ultimately doing the work day to day. Here's the bottom line. Home CTF isn't just another online challenge. It is Hack the Box's first ever all blue team event. It is free to join and it is happening from September 22nd through the 26th. Five days, five challenges, and $10,000 in prizes. And thousands of people around the world learning and competing side by side. I walked into DEF CON battling imposter syndrome, wishing I had more practice with these exact skills, and Holmes is the kind of event that could have given me that confidence before stepping up. So don't overthink it. Don't wait until you feel ready. Just dive in, grab a few of your friends, sign up as a team, or jump in solo and meet some people along the way. The link is down in the description below. Go reserve your spot in the Home CTF and see just how much sharper you'll come out on the other side.